Hi, this is Michael Maida, and this is Explaining the Formation of a Chromosome from DNA. So I've written a DNA molecule over here, and this is the final product, the chromosome. So the first step is for the DNA to wrap around histones. So I'll be drawing the DNA as a straight line wraps around the histone, wraps around the histone, and wraps around the histone. Each one of these wraps is now called a nucleosome. That's the first step, usually called beads on a string. These beads on a string then come very close together to form a 30 nanometer thick fiber which I will now be also representing as a straight line but remember that it's 30 nanometers thick. We then have the 30 nanometer thick fiber form loops. These loops are 300 nanometers wide. These loops are then compressed to make a fiber very similar to the 30 nanometer fiber, but this time it is 300 nanometers, which I will also be representing as a straight line, which is now 300 nanometers wide. And then this 300 nanometer wide fiber will be used to make our ultimate product, the chromosome. This is Michael Maida. And this has been explaining the formation of a chromosome from DNA.